Hey guys, John here with a review of Parallels desktop software for Mac. It lets you run Windows XP, Vista, Windows Millennium, Linux in your Mac environment without restarting. Uh, it's very handy. I've received a lot of questions on it, so hopefully this video will help to answer some of those. As always, thanks for watching. Any questions about Parallels, send them my way, and uh, thank you for subscribing. Enjoy! This is the box that it came in, uh, Parallels Desktop. Um, the newest version is version 3.0, which is not what came in here. But as soon as I installed this program, Parallels told me there was a newer version available. I was able to upgrade to the new version of Parallels 3.0 with 3D support for all your 3D rendering. So let's get to it. It's already been installed. Right down here is the Parallels icon on my dock. Click it. It will open up. I have two versions of Windows XP, um, an original and a backup. I made two just in case something should happen to the original, should it get corrupt, download a virus or some sort. Um, all the files are self-contained within each folder, so I can just restore it directly to, uh, to my backup and reboot. So let's push play, hit select. Um, I gave it one megabyte of RAM uh, out of my, my two. I gave it um, 12 gigabytes of hard drive space. And scratch that, make that one gigabyte of RAM, not one megabyte. I'm sure everybody's gonna be commenting on that. All right, loads up, just like regular Windows XP. Turn the sound up so you can hear it. It made the little Windows XP sound. All right, so here you go. Here is your regular, um, Windows computer. Start, drag just like anything. A um, couple things to show you. You can make it uh, full screen very simply by hitting Alt Enter. Rotates in a cool cube, flashes, comes back. Here you're all at, um, at full screen. If you see it's moving very quickly, it moves just as quickly as any other uh, Windows XP based laptop. Click here on my computer, you can right click on properties. You can see things are loading pretty quickly. The only things I have installed on here are Microsoft Office and Firefox. I will show you both. So there's Firefox, let it load up. Just like any other version of Firefox. Um, if I wanted to download a program, for example, I wanted to download AOL Instant Messenger, it's very simple to do. Oops, had the wrong address. I can download it just like any other uh, Windows computer and install it just like any other Windows computer. It's already been installed. It's already been downloaded. That's how quick it is. There's the install file. I'm not going to install it because I don't want it on here. All the same windows pop up like normal. Just like any other computer. Um, if you're curious about how fast Microsoft Office is, I will show you Microsoft Office. I'll open up Word. Quicker than my old laptop is just replaced. There's no delay between typing and it showing up on the screen. I'm actually going to save this to save this Word document to show you uh, later. We'll save it to the desktop and click save. Close out of here. I'm going to go back to half screen and show you some of the features of Parallels Desktop 3.0. If you look over here, you'll see a whole list of uh, features. Um, first question that I got with people when I told them I was using Parallels were about USB devices. Um, you can use any USB device you can use on your Mac. Go over to USB devices, down to USB, external hard drive, built-in eyesight, wireless, infrared, everything works. You just click on it and it's there. Uh, very, very, very simple. Um, your CD-ROM drive will work. If you have an external floppy for whatever reason, uh, it will work too. Parallels comes with an excellent um, option called Coherence Mode, which lets you run both operating systems uh, side by side. So right over here, you'll notice this little icon that says Coherence. If you click on it, it actually puts the start menu right down at the bottom. Now you can move that anywhere you want to make it easier for you. Uh, let's put it up at the top. But what that lets you do now is I can open up any Windows program 
and have it show up in my Mac doc. So again, let's open up Microsoft Office and let's open up PowerPoint. So there's PowerPoint. If you notice right down here in the dock, there's a PowerPoint icon, the standard Windows icon with the parallels icon below it. It's very cool that you run both in the same environment. Um, find it to be very handy. I'm going to get out of this right now to show you something else. Go to View. I want to go to OS Window. And I'll revert back. The start menu still up top before I just moved it. I'm just going to drag it back to normal. Another neat feature about this is it lets you share documents across operating systems. So this Word document that we just created, let's say I want to open that up in the Mac environment using NeoOffice, which I have. Very easy to do. I take the document and I just drag it over to my Mac desktop and there it is. I can open it up. It'll open it up with um, text edit, but I can open it up with NeoOffice uh, without any trouble. And it also works actually both ways. So here it works both ways. Um, and that's true for video files as well. Uh, down here I have some QuickTime videos that I've made and posted. I can drag it right over to my Windows environment. There it shows up as a QuickTime file. I'll push play and it loads just as quickly as it does on, on most PCs, at least on my old PC. There it is. The play. It's not choppy or anything. Turn up the volume. For subscribing and for all the comments, I'm trying to get to all Looks good, videos. just like anywhere. Please be patient. Close it out. Um, let me also show you guys some of the streaming video that you can do just like any other Windows environment. Make it full screen for you here. Um, I am on CNN.com. I can click on video. See, there's a happy video on here. Doesn't appear to be anything, uh, it's not depressing. Uh, so let's click on one, video pops up just as quickly, set the buffer up, and there it goes. And there's Windows Media Player running, quick. So guys, there is Parallels kind of at a glance, it's quick. It's much faster than my old HP um, laptop that I used to run before the Mac. It's a really a great option if you don't plan on playing 3D intensive games. Everybody's going to be saying, why don't you run games on here? I don't have games for the computer yet, um, but uh, there are plenty of videos out there that show that. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions uh, about Parallels, drop me a line. Um, and thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions about anything else, send me a comment and please subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.